In this video, we are going to discuss projection of solids with the condition axis is parallel to both the principal planes that is horizontal plane and vertical plane. As the best example, a pentagonal prism is lying on the ground with its rectangular face. Axis of the prism is parallel to VP. Since the prism is lying on the ground, its axis is parallel to HP. So in this case, axis is parallel to both the principal planes. When the axis of a solid is parallel to both HP and VP, the base shape of the solid can be seen in the side view. Hence, we should start from the side view. Initially, draw an XY line. Draw a pentagon by having one side on the XY line. Draw 72 degree lines on both the ends. Take size of the side on the compass and cut arcs on the lines. From these intersections, Again cut arcs to find out other corner. Join these points to complete the pentagon. Name the corners of the pentagon as 1 double dash, 2 double dash, etc. up to 5 double dash. Now to draw the elevation, draw projectors horizontally. Maintain the length of the prism in the elevation. Darken the required lines. Name the edges accordingly. To draw the plan, draw a mitre line. It is a 45 degree line. It is used to transfer width of the object from the side view to the plan or from the plan to the side view. Draw vertical projectors from the side view to the mitre line. From the mitre line, draw projectors horizontally. For maintaining the length of the plan same as elevation, we can draw projectors from the elevation also. Now darken the required visible edges. And the invisible edges can be marked as dotted lines. Now all the views of a pentagonal prism lying on the ground with its rectangular face and axis parallel to VP is completed. In another example, a hexagonal prism is lying on the ground with its longer edge. Axis of the prism is parallel to VP. In this case also, axis is parallel to both the planes. We should start from the side view. Hexagon in the side view should be drawn with its corner on HP. Draw a circle with radius equal to the side of the hexagon. Draw a vertical axis line for the circle. With the same radius of the circle, that is the side of the hexagon as radius, Cut arcs on the circle from the ends of the axis. Join all these intersection points to complete the hexagon. Now the XY line can be drawn through the bottom corner of the hexagon. Name the corners of the hexagon as 1 double dash, 2 double dash, etc. To draw the elevation, draw projectors horizontally from all the corners of the hexagon. Maintain the length of the prism in the elevation. Darken the required lines. Name the edges accordingly. Now to draw the plan, draw a mitre line that is a 45 degree line. It is used to transfer the width of the object from the side view to the plan. Draw vertical projectors from the side view to the mitre line. From the mitre line draw projectors horizontally. For maintaining length of the plan same as elevation, draw projectors from the elevation also. Now darken the required visible edges. By this all the views of a prism that is hexagonal prism lying on the ground with this long edge and axis parallel to VP is complete. <laughs> Thank you.
example, a square pyramid is resting on the ground with its base. Axis of the pyramid is parallel to both HP and VP. Since axis is parallel to both the planes, the first view to be drawn is side view. Draw an XY line. Mark size of the side on the XY line. Draw perpendicular lines on both the ends. Finally, join the end points of perpendicular sides to complete the square. Draw the diagonals. Intersection point of the diagonal is the apex point of the pyramid. To draw the elevation, draw projectors horizontally. Draw the base and measure the length of the axis. Join the base corners to the apex point. To draw the plan, draw a mitre line. Project all the base corners and apex point towards the mitre line. From the mitre line, draw projectors horizontally and maintain the length of the plan same as that of the length of elevation. Join the base corners to the apex point. Hence all the views of a square pyramid resting on the ground with its base edge and axis parallel to both the planes are completed. <laughs>